Grocery or naturesyouth.com. Who needs a fountain anyway? Call today. one 844 Today's poll question is brought to you by Wicked Good Cupcakes. They just launched Halloween flavors like their reverse chocolate boudet cupcake. Check them out at wickedgoodcupcakes.com. Steve, what's the poll question? What are the results thus far? Did you watch the Emmys? Not hardly. 96% are with you, Howie. Okay. I want to hear the one where uh, Hillary says that she's the only one who's been there before. This is this is great stuff in case you just got off work. I'm the only candidate in this race who has been part of the hard decisions to take terrorists off the battlefield. (laughs) Who has been part of the hard decisions to take terrorists off the battlefield? What's the hard decision? The terrorist is on the battlefield. He's trying to kill you. It's you or him. What's what's the difficulty? What's the degree of difficulty of that decision? Kevin, you're next with Howie Carr and the General Communications listener line. Go ahead, Kevin. Hey, Howie, I think that was a failed attempt to plug her book, uh, Hard Choices. Wasn't that the name of it? Yeah. She's even messing that up now. Yeah, it's it's all that book is only ten bucks, by the way, Kevin. And yet, uh, you know, people would rather buy a bucket of fried chicken from uh, Muhammad Muhammad's uh, Emporium uh, than than buy that book. Yeah, yeah. I was I, I was thinking uh, late last week. I don't know if you remember, but the, they started floating stories about how this was going to be Hillary's big week with the UN meetings. Yeah, and she was going to show and rubbing elbows with the uh, <laughs> you know, world leaders, et cetera. But um, and then I got really suspicious uh, on Saturday when I saw that uh, report of the mistake uh, uh, strike in Syria. Yeah, and it looked to me like that was some sort of a manufactured ruse to uh, uh, create a diplomatic firestorm that she was going to come in and it was all going to get ironed out this week and she was going to be at the center of it. I know it sounds conspiratorial, but I really wouldn't put it past them to, to create something like that. I don't know. They they seem like uh, I, I don't think they've uh, they've got it in them anymore. They uh, they they're they're just in total disarray, complete uh, complete chaos at the uh, at the White House, the State Department, the Defense Department. They don't know what they're doing, Kevin, as the, as shown by the press conference today, and certainly the Hillary campaign in Brooklyn uh, is uh, utterly uh, non compass mentis. Thanks for the call, Kevin. Richard, you're next with Howie Carr and the General Communications Listener hey. Line. Go ahead, Richard. Hey, Howie, thank you for enriching my Cape Cod afternoon, by the way. Really thank you. Your show. Hey, did you notice today when our illustrious commander-in-chief was speaking how he tiptoed around when he used the phrase, those who would do us harm, heaven forfend, he would actually identify those who would do us harm. Right. It's, you know... We don't want to say the words. We don't want to say the T word, terrorism. We don't want to say the I word, Islamic. I'm Howie Carr.